I seek the blessings of all the masters of the past, all the masters of the future, all the masters of the present. A Zen master was asked about God. The Zen master keeps silent. The second time the person who has asked him repeats the same question, please tell me about God. Again this Zen master keep silent. The other person shook the master and tells him, Sir, I have asked you a question. Yeah, then he tells meditation. Again the person says, I have asked about God and you are saying meditation. You have asked about God and I am telling you how to be God. The consciousness, awarefulness that Aham Brahmasmi that discovered self is nothing but the universal self. Maulanka Putta came to Buddha, he asked him, Sir, I have few questions in spirituality, can you please tell me? <coughs> Buddha tells him, are those questions about God? Maulan Putta says, yes sir, they are about God, they are about Atma, they are about enlightenment. And Buddha says, you stay with me for two years, then everything will be known. Suddenly, Manjusri, another disciple of Buddha, comes in between and tells the Maulank Putta, Maulank do not leave Buddha, you ask those questions, let him answer. I have asked these <coughs> questions and he told me the same thing, you follow me for two years, everything is clear and he did not reply me anything till now. Now you settle it, ask those same questions and let Buddha answer. This is exactly the factor. Once you meditate, once you purify, everything becomes clear. All the questions will drop. All doubts will stop. Mind has only questions, can't receive any answer. Head has only doubts, but can't take any statement inside. 
it should be experientially understood. The real spirituality is only this transformation, how to mind the mind, how to make the impure mind the pure mind, how to make it as a soul, how to discover your own self. It is as simple as that. Till such time, people keep on sticking to their the forms of religion, gods, something like an external, they will not understand the real significance. I remember one person, he said, see I go to my church or mosque or temple regularly. I am a very, very religious person. I have not missed my religion in spite I drank, I gambled, I indulged in girls, but I never missed my religion. Do you call this a religious person? We are exactly missing the true spirituality, the essence of the religion or the spirit of religion, the soul of religion is something different. Every religion is really about consciousness, the evolution to higher states of consciousness is spirituality. Whatever may be your religion, biology is same, the mentality is same, the emotions are same. We are not talking about the outer body of religion, no, or the mind of religion, no. Exactly the soul of religion, the spirit of religion is something to do with the consciousness. You have the same physiology, every person, every human being has same physiology, psychology, the body is same, whatever religion you belong to, whether it is a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim, you put your hand in fire and it will burn. The laws are same and spirituality is universal law of existence. Just because I follow a certain ritual, certain shaping, whether cutting the mush or growing the beard or growing the hair or smearing ash, it hardly matters. The real spirituality is something to do with the inner transformation. The inner transformation is all that is important. We have forgotten that essence. There was a person who goes to the hotel to have his food. He 
has a sumptuous meal, the bill is put in front of this gentleman and he puts the currency and this bearer steward he takes that to the counter and he finds that he has given counterfeit currency, duplicate currency. Then immediately the management they come to this person and tells him that this is counterfeit currency and they inform the police also that he has given this counterfeit currency. This person gets arrested, he has been taken to the court and in the court the judge asks him, this is a counterfeit currency. Sir, I do not know, I and you are charged for duplicate notes and I am punishing you for the duplication of the currency. Then this person says, Sir, I have not committed any offence because I have only pickpocketed one purse and that purse contains only counterfeit currency and you cannot charge me because I have not printed the notes. Then the judge says, okay, I will give the punishment to you as it is a theft you have robbed the currency, you have robbed the purse, hence the punishment is for robbery. And this person, he says, sir, this currency, whatever I have tendered, does not have any value. So, how can zero value be, be a theft? and I, you cannot charge me as under theft. And then he is left scot free, but get the straight one point. What is the essence of this story? So, everybody is missing one important thing the spirit of religion. The spirit of religion is more important. Once you miss that, whatever outer manipulations you do, people have gone to the extent of even changing gods this God is more powerful, that God is more powerful. People are making it a commodity, God, godliness is important, less powerful, he is more powerful, this powerful, the whole power is in your transformation. You should seek his blessings only to undergo the transformation. All the grace of God is required, grace of the vibrations are required only to keep you into the right track, not to fulfill your desires. God is not to fulfill your desires. You have to empty your desires. It is nothing to do with the fulfillment of one desire, one desire, one desire. 
अनफॉर्चुनेटली अवर ग्रेट उपनिषदक रिलीजन सनातन धर्म दट इज ऑल्सो गॉट डैमेज बिकॉज ऑफ द इंप्योरिटीज दट हैव कम इन टू अवर सेक्रेड ग्रेट रिलीजन we have forgotten by the time ganges is in reaching hugli it is polluted dead corpses garbage or the pollutants toxins everything is dumped in same is our great सनातन धर्म सो प्योर एंड लस्ट्रस एट गौमुख ग्लेशियर भगीरथ हाउ प्योर इज गैंजिस वाटर आई वॉज लिविंग देयर बाई द साइड ऑफ भगीरथ the water depth is 30 feet and you can see even the stone the bottom most stone crystal clear in uttarakashi but by the time it comes to the plains haridwar everything is getting damaged getting damaged same is our great wisdom shiva krishna what they stood for is long ago forgotten vijnana bhairava tantra the meditation forms the 112 great meditation techniques the krishna consciousness buddha consciousness see how great things have happened in our sanatan dharma no nothing is left except the portraits idols nobody even bothers to know what shiva told what the kundalini awakening is all about nobody bothers the great signs of mudras the dhyanam how to remove the impurities everybody has forgotten we just visit a temple or a church or a mosque we think even though we don't adopt anything what the great masters have told we just tell him i know what you have we are, we know that you know we know krishna knows we know rama knows we know shiva knows hence we worship you no the great masters have taught us great many tools techniques how to transform just to say krishna is great shiva is great rama they are great we need not say thousand times you are great you are great without practicing even 0.000 or million zeros and 1% also we don't practice yama nimas we don't want to practice we are just trading with god i have given a coconut or i have given broken a coconut i shave in my head gold metal a crown i have given you now it's a business language what he will do all the wealth belong to him 
all the creation belong to him, all the resources belong to him, how he will be happy by just taking one small metal and making it a crown and he is very happy. He is coconut, he is fruit, good, but what is the greatest thing we need to do? Do not we do not you think that we need to practice what he has given us the in God you know there was a flood in a village and in that flood they were trying to evacuate everybody. The flood was so severe and one jeep is just coming into the village and picking up all the persons. One person who is a staunch believer of God, he says, I will not come in the jeep, you please go. Next one boat comes, then also he says, no I will not come in the boat, God will come and save me. Then by then the water is so high, one helicopter also comes there, he says, no, 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 God will save me and ultimately this man dies and then he is encountering God and he tells God, I have prayed so much and I believed you so much, but you have not saved me. Then he says, idiot, I have come thrice, once in zip, once in boat, once in helicopter, but you did not. God comes in any form, God gives message in anybody, through anybody. So, the secret is godliness is Brahmakara Vritti, Isha Vasyam Idham Sarvam Yatkinchat Jagatyam Jagat. So, let us continue to understand the deeper aspects and I wish you all the best. God bless you.